Okay. Okay. Lodash and array dot method. Method. These are functions that I use every single day, so they're pretty the best. The best functions that I've, I looked into. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, Lodash and array methods. These are the stuff that I use every day. So I went and checked into my various React files, uh, working with uh, uh, a tech startup called Splitbot.com, which I thank for allowing me to show the code. And this is the stuff that I use every single day. These are functions that are very important. They're gonna speed up your productivity immensely and are gonna empower you to build incredible features very rapidly. So let's start by the first one, which is the clone deep from Lodash, lodash.clone deep. It allows you to clone an object. And the typical use case is to clone an object before you edit it. So an example that we actually use in uh, the back end of uh, our app is since we use the coupon object for calculation, we take a deep copy of it uh, so that we can pass it on to math functions to calculate its value. And this way, every other operation that happens to the coupon doesn't impact the calculation on the math. Uh, another great one is the concat function, uh, lodash.concat, which allows to concatenate arrays together uh, and merge them into an array. And that's the typical use case. And the example in the Splitbot app is uh, we take a bunch of uh, uh, products, a bunch of deals that come from different uh, aspects. We, we literally load them with different Ajax requests, and now we merge them together from uh, our props, from our uh, global Redux state, we merge them together into the component so that we have a single array. The third one is the sort by, and sort by allows very rapidly to build sorting functions. So if you ever wanted to sort something, this is the, the way to do it. It's so convenient. And this is a great example. We also use the lodash.reverse to reverse the order. And this way we can do descending order. So the first, the order that has been created most recently is going to be at the top this way. It's amazing. I love it. It allows me as a single developer to build dashboards very rapidly. And lodash.isEmpty is very useful if you have a default uh, uh, array or object. Uh, so let's say you, you're tracking orders in, uh, in your state and you're fetching them. So your default uh, uh, state dot array is going to be an empty array. So that array is going to uh, evaluate to true, uh, even though its length is going to be zero. So you could check for the length, or you can use lodash dot is empty, which is my favorite way because it's very convenient for me. So it's good, and this is a great example. We ask lodash whether we should uh, show anything based on the quantity of, uh, of orders. If there's no orders, we're not going to show anything. And that's very convenient. The only issue that you may face is uh, this will return false for a string. It's empty. Like, it's going to return true, that it's empty for a string, which means that if you have a single string, you're going to have issues. And now we can go on the array functions. The first one is map. Map applies a, a function uh, to all the elements of the array. And that a great example for the um, for use case is that first of all, um, React is able to print out arrays. So if you feed him an array, it's gonna print it out. So what we do here is for each element in the FAQ, we uh, take the, the the property, the single element, and we turn it into a FAQ element. We use a component. So as you can see, we can apply the same function to all the elements uh, without having to write that line of code. But this this literally creates a very complex FAQ page with what is this, seven lines of code? It's incredible. The next one is the for each. A good example is printing out element. Uh, it's a very convenient tool. Uh, an example that uh, is a little more complex, we have it in the shipping service when we were thinking about a geolocation feature. So for each order, we take uh, a bunch of uh, their feature and then we add a new uh, property to it. Uh, and we can do that thanks to the for each. So for each order, we add this location string string uh, that we can uh, add it thanks to, again, the for each function. Lastly, we have the array.reduce. This is a very important function, especially for math, math-oriented functions, or maybe for Boolean too. And uh, the best, the classical use case is summing values of an array. So the example I got is, this is part of our math library. The way we calculate taxes, for example, we, ex we calculate the excise tax is we reduce the single excise tax for every single product. So having known these functions, having known about clone deep, concat, sort by, is empty, map, for each, 
reduce. I would say the last one is filter. Um, and if you learn also about filtering, now we have a very complete set of functionality that allows you to build very complicated apps in a matter of seconds. Now you're going to be able to build features that would have taken hours, if not days. You can build them in seconds. So you'll definitely see in our course the power of it. If you haven't taken our course yet, you can uh, take it by clicking on the link below. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's the best course for people that want to open their tech startup. We teach you guys, uh, we teach you how to build a product in seven days, how to build an actual tech product, how to build your prototype in seven days. So if you want to learn more, and you're going to put your email to receive more information, I'm going to make you an amazing gift. So make sure to join right now with the link below. Thank you.